Hi guys, uh, so welcome to the sixth video of this playlist. So this video is all about a producer consumer problem and how we can solve it uh, by using blocking queue in Java. So producer consumer problem is a very classic synchronization problem in computer size. So basically multiple threads are producers which are producing the data items and consumer threads are basically who are consuming these items. So if I will say, let's say I have one queue here and it is a shared queue basically which is being used by multiple threads and let's say i have producer thread here so which is producing the events and so which is producing the events and putting it in the shared queue right like this and then i have one consumer thread so i will put consumer thread here so basically consumer thread will consume the events which are put in this queue by the producer thread like this right so now this architecture looks okay but a lot of problems can come so what if so what if the speed of this producer thread is more than consumer thread so that means the producer thread will keep putting the events or data in the shared queue and the consumer thread is consuming that event or data in a speed which is less than the producer thread. So it can lead to the overflow of this shared queue, right? Because more data is now there and the consumer thread is picking up the data very slowly. So there should be some mechanism or controls in place in our code so that we can say to producer thread, don't send us event because queue is full and let's wait for the consumer thread to pick the event first. And the reverse case can also happen, right? So if the producer thread is putting the events in the shared queue slowly or the speed is less as compared to consumer thread so what will happen the consumer thread can try to fetch the events from the empty queue right so there also before fetching the event there should be some controls in our code to say that consumer thread should wait for the producer thread to put the event then only it can fetch so these are the problems which should be handled while dealing with the producer consumer problem so you don't end up in the errors when the speed of the producer thread and the consumer thread is not matching with each other right so this problem can be solved with blocking queue so if i go to the code level here so i will show you the blocking queue example so here i am using the blocking queue so i am giving the capacity as 5 and i am i have one producer blocking queue and then consumer blocking queue and then I'm just starting the thread, right? So if I go to the code here, so you will see I am not handling anything by my own here, right? So I am just using the put method of the blocking queue. And in the consumer, I am only using the take method here, right? So I'm only using the take method and I am only using the put method in the producer queue, right? So now if I go inside this right method, so you will see the implementation of this one right so so i just go to put so insert the specified element into this queue waiting if necessary for space to become available so this is the first problem that we talked right if there is no space in the queue so that means producer speed is more than consumer speed right so in that case, it will wait for the space and then only it will put it inside, right? So that means it is internally handled in the blocking queue class. If I go to the take, right, take method here. So you will see here, retrieves and removes the head of this queue waiting if necessary until an elements become available. So this is the second problem that we talked when consumer speed is more than the producer speed. So in this case also, it will wait until the element is there in the queue before picking it up. So that's how you can implement. So I will show you the code again. So I have the capacity of five and I am passing this same queue, shared queue to the both producer and consumer. And the producer code is very simple here. So I'm just using the put method and then I am take, and in the consumer, I am just using the take method. So if I will run this code, so you will see it will run fine so consume zero produced one produced two consume three right so even the speed is 
speed is so in this first case right the speed of the producer is faster than the consumer because here i am sleeping for 2000 uh, 2 seconds and then here i am using the speed as 1 second right so producer is faster than consumer but still it will not give me exception so it will handle everything internally so this is how you can solve the producer consumer problem by using blocking queue but if you don't want to use blocking queue right then again you have to implement the synchronized uh, concept here that we already discussed in this uh, playlist so if you are not familiar with this concept i uh, i will suggest you start this playlist from the starting uh, of the from the first video so you will be able to understand so here i am not using any blocking queue i am simply using simple list but i am handling that logic by using synchronized keyword and notify all notify all right and wait so if you want to use synchronized and wait and notify all you can also use this but it's again an overhead on the developer and maybe the developer will have to handle a lot of manual conditions right so as a developer i will not go with this approach until or unless i have some use case which blocking queue is not able to uh, solve that but still by using your own code by using your uh, the multi pre-threading concept or concurrency keywords like synchronized weight and notify all you can still use you can still solve the producer consumer problem right but here manually you have to check the size and you here manually you have to check whether it's empty or not so all these conditions are already handled inside blocking queue so that's why i will always prefer to use blocking queue as a developer until my use case is not satisfied with it right so this is all about a uh, producer consumer problem uh, so if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content.